Hello and welcome back to episode 47 of the non to Legend save. Now, we've got a tough game today. Away to Germany. It's, um, we, we need a point basically. If we lose the game, Germany are in control of the group and, um, and they need to just get a result against Romania that was better than ours, uh, basically, in their, in their last game. But a draw here and, um, and we're still in control. So... What we're going to do is we're going to set up on control because Germany play four across the back, a Holden midfielder, a flat four midfield, and then just a lone striker. So it's a relatively defensive formation. Normally I'd go sort of counter attack ish um, in this kind of game, but we're, we're not going to do that because um, I think it's almost going to invite the pressure on. They're defensive. Let's get at them. Um, so this isn't my final pick side, but you can see everyone's a little bit tired. So um, I'm going to click my fingers and we're going to have our our side for the game against Germany. OK, so this is how we line up. A couple of little changes. Josh Heary comes back into the side for uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Rob Holden comes back in for Reese Whitnell. Nigel McCourt plays at fullback just because he's a little bit fitter um, for Ben Chilwell, who's only 87% fit. Eric Dyer comes back in at Holden midfielder. Chrissy Chalk comes in as the advanced playmaker, uh, and that pushes Deli Alley on uh, behind the striker. Jordan Ibe and Nathan Redmond, which still to me is, is just painful to look at. It's it's very weak for me. Um, and Harry Kane gets yet another chance up top. It's because I can't see why he's not playing very well. Um, I think that he's maybe just... Maybe they just need a little bit more familiarity towards the, uh, towards the tactic. I mean, yeah, as you can see, actually, I've just clicked on that. And um, I mean... It's only his marking, I suppose you could argue, it's the position role slash duty that he's he's not completely familiar with. Um, but that, that's we, we play with a complete forward. I like the job that the complete forward does on this. So we're going to stick with it and, and hopefully he gets more and more familiar uh, with it. But let's get into this game and um, yeah, a little bit nervous about this one. We, we need a result. As long as we don't lose... That is the key here. But that is what I was talking about with that sort of defensive formation. It's not necessarily defensive, but I mean, in these areas, it's where a lot of teams would have players, you know, behind the striker, wingers, etc. They haven't got that. So let's try and play a little bit more attacking and we'll try and, you know, really push these guys back so that they are defending. Because they didn't create a great deal again, um, when they played against us at Wembley. So um, hopefully... That is the same here. But here we go. Kick off. And we're looking for Harry Kane to do something. And if he doesn't do anything by half time and he's playing his typical 6.3, 6.4, he'll be coming off and Adrian Thompson will be coming on. Here we go. Free kick. Josh Heary. It's fell to Delhi Alley. Is that? That's in. Get in. Well, we certainly needed a bit of fortune. We got it there. It was a poor free kick that ricocheted off the wall. And Deli Ali was just there to pick up the pieces. Shoddy Germany defending, really, which is uh, which is not like the Germany that we all know. Germany corner. Swung in. No one at the near post. What is going on, boys? Come on. I've taught you better than that. That is an absolute shocker. You wouldn't even see that at Sunday morning level. Look at, look at him at the front post. Not anyone. Uh, who he? What? Harry Kane. Look, rushing there to do the job, and he's absolutely dumbfounded as to why no one's there. That is an absolute shocker. It's gone down as an own goal, which is harsh, um, but that is shocking. Here we go. Highlight. We come away with the ball. Nathan Redmond into chalk. Plays it out wide to Heary, who's on that left-hand side for some reason. Double check that just in case. Nathan Redmond, chalk. It's all a little bit tight in there. Deli Alley finds Jordan Ibe, shoots, and a decent save at the near post, and it goes out for a corner. Right, can we make anything of this set piece? Jordan Ibe to swing one in. Hits Chalky on the edge of the box. Chalky shoots, and it whizzes past the near post. Right, five minutes till half time wouldn't say either team was in control it seems relatively even two set piece goals 
and I think it's probably going to take something of the like to to separate the teams to be honest but I would be happy if it stayed like this it it, it really wouldn't bother me at all but that's the half time whistle 1-1 one, one. Harry Kane playing slightly better on a 6.8 um, let's ask him to do it for the fans. England, Germany, the fans love it. Just having a little look on the bench, really, just to see if we've got anyone that can come in and, and make an impact. And to be honest, not really. Um, Raheem Sterling may have to feature because, again, our wide men both on 6.5 because they're just not good enough. It's almost making me consider after this, um, the qualifying for the International League is done, maybe I'll create a tactic that's more central that doesn't use wingers because um, there's better team, better players, sorry, sitting on the bench. You know, I'd, I'd quite like to get Bowen and Deli Alley, maybe Holden um, and Eric Dyer, Holden, maybe Chrissy Chalk in front of them, Deli Alley in behind the striker. Um, but we'll see. That's 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 a little bit down the line. Let's see how this goes first. Let's get this second half underway, and hopefully we can go and get ourselves two one ahead. And Germany coming forward. I hope this isn't an actual chance, and it's not that far away to be honest. That's a shaky start to the second half. I think their managers definitely had a word with them. Right, we're about 15 minutes in and we've now got a highlight. I was about to make a change. But we've got a highlight, so here we go. McCourt to Redmond. Finds Clark inside. What's he going to do? Swings one out to Heary. Jordan Ibe. Oh, he's going to lose it, isn't he? Really got no confidence in them wingers. Chrissy Chalk. Deli Alley swings one out to Redmond, who does lose it. And it's poor. Harry Kane, get that pressure on. Pressure. Pressure. We're just letting Germany casually knock it around. That's better. A little bit of pressure on the ball. And um, Germany come away. And it's definitely going to be a Germany attack now. Oh, God. Oh, it looked weak. It looked like the keeper should have got there easily. And he didn't. And Germany are 2-1 up. And I'm not happy. Pressure on the ball, gentlemen. Pressure on the ball. Where's your holding midfielder in there? Eric Dyer, where are you? That, oh, you. I rate Jordan Pickford as well, but that that's not good enough. I know maybe you don't get to see it, how it actually is, but not good enough. Bowen comes on for Dyer. He was, he was literally Dyer. <sighs> I just, I don't know. I don't know. Thompson's looked lightly. Harry Kane hasn't done a lot, even though he's playing a 6.7, which is slightly better. Wingers, 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 and inside forwards. What the hell? Absolutely useless. Raheem Sterling. I mean, when he's your option to come on and change a game, you just know you're in trouble as a nation, don't you? So let's have a little word with them. Demand more. Not happy. We're going to stay on control for now because it, it really does feel that this is just a one goal game. I don't think that they've outplayed us. They've had three shots on target. They've scored two of them. And one of those was a poxy own goal. Uh, we're going to move to attacking. 20 minutes left. 10 minutes left. Nothing happening. We're going overload. See if that does anything. I doubt it will. But this has been shocking. As soon as we've gone overload, Germany have got themselves a chance. See them bowing clears well but Germany are going to pick up on it play it straight back down that right hand side they'll get the cross in they'll get there it's a great save shame he couldn't have done that earlier that second goal really has annoyed me not because they went ahead but it just looked weak I mean I've seen some real bullets that go in from there but it just looked like it just floated across him it was horrible and we're on overload and Germany are going to carry on pushing Go on, Chrissy Chalk, he, look, he looks good in there. I mean, he's it's a one-man midfield as well, and he just he does look good in there still. But they're stretching us a bit, <clears throat> definitely stretching us into the feet of the striker. Oh, back to him, no one's following. No, it's an absolute embarrassment. Embarrassment, sack the manager, measures out. 
measures out. Absolutely shocking. Honestly, I'm embarrassed by it. We, they, they, they shouldn't be doing this to us. Look at that. They're one low. You've got one job, gentlemen. One job. And that's to mark this clown. And you're just letting him run through you. And you're just... You're not even chasing shadows. You're just staring at shadows. And that massively impacts our chances of going through to the semi-finals of this tournament. Which kind of... I mean, look at Deli Ali. 32%. But he stays on. Um, that, that really does look unlikely for us to reach the semi-finals of this tournament. Which, to be honest, I... I was kind of thinking was going to be our big chance to win something with England because I can't see us going to the World Cup and, and winning it. I really can't. Not with the likes of... I mean, European, the Euro, Euros, that's one thing. With the likes of, um, you know, Brazil, Argentina and, and all of them lot, the World Cup is surely going to be a step too far for England. That's exactly why Gareth Southgate stepped down after he won the Euros. He's like, yep. That's the best we'll ever do. Uh, see you later. Ah, the under-21s qualify for the Euros. Well done. Excellent. Um, yeah, not happy at all about that. So that really does put us behind now. Um, we need to hope that Germany go to Romania and Romania do the same to them um, that they did to us. Um, and that means all we've got to do is beat Romania at home. Um, but then we've got the goal difference. So really, we need to hope Romania beat Germany, which isn't going to happen. Um, so, yeah, I mean, especially if we beat Romania, we'll be playing them first. If we beat them, Romania have got nothing to play for. So I can't see them being up for the game against Germany. So I think that is the European International League hopes over with, which is definitely disappointing. But we've got a month until this Romania game. So let's uh, let's let's crack on and um, and hopefully we can lift some spirits and get three points there. Right, we're approaching the uh, the last game against Romania. The only change we're going to make, this is the suggested squad. Um, I'm not going to use it, um, but the only real change we're going to make is Ashley Burton's going to come out and Marcus Rashford does come in just because he's an option as a striker, but most probably more an, an inside forward, something like that. So um, that's, that's the squad we're going to go with. He, he wants to take Sion Bowen out of the squad, but... I'm not happy about that. I'm a big fan of his. And um, and to be honest, he'll probably get in the squad over Eric Dyer. But um, let's, let's skip forward to this Romania game and hopefully we can at least end with a win. One minor change to the squad. Uh, we've got an injury to Perry Boyce. He's third choice striker, so it's not the end of the world. And we've called up Ben Br Brereton. Uh, he's the one that starts at Nottingham Forest as a bit of a, a bit of a wonder kid. He's actually commanded some decent transfer fees across his um, across his career and been playing largely in the Premier Division since since he's moved from Nottingham Forest. So hopefully he can do a job, but I'm sure he won't feature. Right here we go. Game against Romania. This is how we line up: Pickford, Josh Heary, and Ben Chilwell, fullbacks. Ben Chilwell not particularly fit, but he only needs to get through this game. Uh, John Stones and Reese Whitnell at the back. Um, Bowen plays Holden midfield up mainly because he's he's very familiar with the role from his time at Southampton. Deli Alley in the middle of the park. Raheem Sterling as a winger on the right, and Phil Fodden in behind the striker because I felt that was a slightly better combination with them that way around. Um, a little bit controversial maybe, but I'm starting Marcus Rashford up top, mainly because he plays for his club as a complete forward, hence why he's very familiar with it. Um, and Harry Kane seems a lot more familiar with his role as an inside forward. That's how we're going to start. We're not going to qualify from the European International League, so why not try something? Why not? Um, also, what I was looking at is Ben Brereton, he's relatively competent with the role as well so he could always come on adrian thompson is not competent with that role so i think that is playing quite a big part so that's how we start and to be honest what we need today is a big win three or four we need to put three or four past these lot and um to be honest we kind of owe them because we should have well we shouldn't have 
won on the performance at their place, but we should have beat them in general. So um, we definitely owe them, and I, I want to see a big, big performance today. Otherwise, I'm going to start questioning, was this England job the best move in the world? Here we go, first highlight. Ben Chilwell mops up. John Stones brings it away. Plays it into Deli Alley's feet. He's looking for runners. Here he's there. And we just need to look like a little bit more of a unit, to be honest. Phil Fodden running at the defence. No runners, no nothing. Giving him any option and he can't really blame him for taking a shot. And we're only eight or nine minutes in. And, and this Romania team, they beat us on possession last time. And, and they're, they're controlling the possession again. I mean, not majorly, but enough to, to be a bit of a ball ache. But we've got another highlight. Possession isn't everything, even though I do like keeping possession, personally. Deli Ali running at the defence. Still going, still going. Squares it, Raheem Sterling. Not even he could miss that chance. Look at him celebrating like he just scored a worldie. The geezer's an absolute clown. But there we go, he's the best we've got, so we have to stick with him for now. Deli Ali, what an absolutely fantastic run. Got a little bit of fortune there, but carries on driving forward. Lovely ball across. Good run from Raheem. And um, like I say, I, I half expect him to put it over the bar from there. He's that bad, but 1-0 England. And a highlight straight away. Is this going to be a Romania attack? I think it might be. Gets the cross in and cleared well from Chilwell. But here come England on the counter. Raheem using his only skill that he's got, and that's pace. Watch him not be able to cross a ball. He does cross it. Rashford gets on the end of it. And, and Rashford, officially now the most prolific striker that we've had since our reign at England. But 2-0 after 15 minutes, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's, uh, it's definitely a positive compared to what we have been showing. And it looks like Wembley's maybe a bit of a fortress. And... Um, yeah, tied, tidy little goal. Decent cross from Sterling. Right, another corner. Sterling puts out to Deli Alley. Finds Sion Bowen, who finds the bottom corner. I don't think we ever see him score a goal um, for Southampton. I might be wrong. I know he came close a couple of times, but he scored today for England. 3-0 after 35 minutes. This, this is a little bit more like it. I don't really know what to put it down to. It's probably just home advantage, to be honest. Right, five minutes till half time. It's been a decent performance. Romania shown very, very little. They haven't even had a shot yet, and we've had 14. Only four on target, though. That's got to start improving. But we've got another highlight before the half is out. Deli Alley into the feet of Fodden. He finds Rashford, who shoots, but a decent save from the goalkeeper. And that should probably be it for the half, I should imagine. And there it is, that's the half-time whistle. It's a, a, a cracking performance, really. I mean, you've got to take the positives where you can. I mean, the assistant manager wants to go out with clear minds, don't address anything. But for me, we're going to calmly say, I'm very happy, keep it up. We'll send them out the same, rather than keep chopping and changing. And uh, and see if we can go and stretch this lead. And the, the bigger this win is, the, the slightly more chance we have of going through. Because... If we win this big time and Germany only get a draw, we then might do them on um, on goal difference. But time will tell. Right, 10 minutes into the second half. Um, everyone's playing pretty well. I think I'm going to rest the left back chill well just because he's looking a little bit tired. He's on 70%. But Romania coming forward, we could do without conceding here, to be honest. Hopefully this isn't a counter-attack. Go on, Raheem. Open them legs up, son. Look at him, that's all he's got is pace. Such a terrible touch, and he gets tackled. Ball's cleared. One by Stones, down to Deli Alley. I mean, we're decent in that area of the pitch. It's just that final third. I don't think we've got enough quality, in my opinion. Deli Alley, what can he do? Find Sterling, what can he do? Probably not a lot. Finds Fodden, who fires wide of the left-hand post. But we're going to make a change. We're going to get Chilwell off. Nigel McCourt comes on. Straight swap. 
Um, 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 do we risk? I think we're going to push Marcus Rashford out as the inside forward on the left. And we're going to give Ben Brereton a chance. He's pretty capable in that role. We're going to give him a chance and see how he gets on. I don't know if this is his England debut, um, but we'll soon find out. I think in terms of goal difference, we certainly need more than this. And, and just because of that, we're going to go attacking. And, um, and, and hopefully we can go and grab another one, maybe two. I think it's our only chance, but it's, uh, it's very, very unlikely still. So 82 minutes on the clock. We're going to make another change. And... I mean, we, there's just there's not a great deal of, of things that we can change, especially in terms of game-changing players. Let's get Nathan Redmond on as an inside forward on that left-hand side. Right, five minutes left. Highlight. Bet Brereton gets up. Decent header. Was it? Bet, was it? It was him. Yes. Decent header, that. That's his first goal for England. And um, is that his... That is, that is his England debut. The West Ham fans will be very, very happy with that. And that makes it 4-0. And um, we've got a chance, I suppose. We've got a chance of, of qualifying. Right, last couple of minutes. We've got a free kick. Nigel McCaw takes, hits the bar, I think. I thought that went over. And it's Romania who bring it away. Highlights still going. Surely he'll find the man on the left. Doesn't. He goes through the middle to Marin. Romania bringing it forward well here. Come on, boys. Let's keep the clean sheet. Hey. Marin to their main striker. Well in, here he. And is this going to carry on? I mean, this is only a good sign if it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. It was a completely pointless highlight. But we've just got a couple of minutes left. And if this is the final game highlight, it's a very long one. But the game does do that sometimes, so you never really know what's going on. It certainly keeps you guessing. Or it could be a genuine highlight and a chance for someone. Marin, no one following the runner. It's just our favourite thing to do is to just not follow the runner. And uh, that is very fortunate not to concede a goal there. We could do without conceding because we need this goal difference as high as possible. And I think this puts us on to plus three, the same as Germany. So I think they'll, I don't know what it then goes down to, whether it's down to games played against each other. If it does, Germany then pip us. So I think we still need Romania to beat Germany, essentially, which isn't going to happen, even though it's at, at Romania's place. And Romania is certainly, pos oh God, possession hungry at their place. Um, but I think Germany will have enough about them to, to beat them. So this has got to be the end of the game highlight. A decent performance, the best we've seen so far. But, I mean, certainly not a surprise. These, these are the kind of performances we should be putting in, to be completely honest. So there you go, 4-0 win. The England fans are happy. Little do they know we've got very little chance of, uh, of actually progressing in the tournament. But, I mean, it's no, it's no shame to finish second to Germany. It's not the end of the world. It's just like I said earlier, I think our best chance of winning some kind of silverware with England was this European International League. So, um, it's a little bit of a kick in the teeth. But let's have a little look how it stands uh, so far. So, it puts us top. Um, ah, so they've got a goal difference of four. So, yeah, Romania, you need to, you need to beat Germany. Plain and simple. Um, and I don't know when that game actually is. Let's have a little look. Uh, 19th of the 11th. So that's in two days' time. So Germany have had plenty of rest. Uh, Romania have had none. So before we end the episode, I will let you know the result of that game. Right, we just played our friendly against Czech Republic. We won 3-1. Again, didn't take charge. Uh, Nathan Redmond with the goal and Rashford got a brace. So Rashford, he's come in and he's done one hell of a job, even though he's only rated at two and a half stars. Um, so not bad. And as you can probably see up here, England knocked out of European League Division A. And uh, that is because Germany went and beat Romania 2-1 away from home, which we pretty much expected, to be completely honest. And it's just a shame. 
It's a real, real shame. I think the two key things we did wrong was not winning away at Romania. And when we went to Germany, we played on control. Maybe we should have gone counter or defensive. Um, but yeah, professional performance from Germany, as usual, as you would expect. Um, so it, it's a shame, but it's not the end of the world. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a nonsense tournament, really. It certainly hasn't got any gravitas to it. It's... Um, it's all about the World Cup. So we've got a, a big qualifying um, stint ahead of us. And then we've got the World Cup. So it's going to be a long, long haul. And as you can see, we've got no fixture. Oh, yes, we have. I didn't know we had these, uh, the World Cup qualif qualification groups. So let's have a little look at the uh, what group. Are we in seven? Oh, where are you gone? Group seven. So Azerbaijan. Oh, we've got Romania. Fantastic. Slovakia, Northern Ireland. I mean, that that should be very, very much par for the course. Um, I would expect us to finish top comfortably. And to be honest, I would probably expect us to go unbeaten. If we don't go unbeaten, I can only imagine us possibly losing. I mean, it's hard to say because you don't know how what regens these teams have got etc but Romania we know are a tough team already um, but R Romania possibly Slovakia other than that we should uh, we should sail through these qualifications and make the World Cup but we'll certainly um, certainly bring you all of the the qualifiers so um, let's have a look so yeah we'll bring you two at a time so it'll be Northern Ireland Romania Azerbaijan, Slovakia, Ireland, Romania, Azerbaijan, Slovakia. And um, and then the very next fixtures that we should show you after that. So what's that? One, two, three, four, four episodes. Um, and then we'll know if we've qualified for the World Cup. And then I should imagine the next episode will be the World Cup. And we'll try and bring you, well, I definitely will. I'm not going to play any games without you seeing them because it's a, it's a relatively short short um competition so we'll uh, we'll bring you absolutely every game from the world cup if we make it if we don't i should imagine we'll get sacked and uh and we'll be the embarrassment of the country but thank you very much for watching if you like the video please drop it a like if you're new subscribe and um and i will catch you in the next episode